What up, what up, what up? Your boy Savage, a.k.a. Seth Cisnettles. You know the logo, Broncos Country, BCFFL, Bronco Maniacs. So, I'm about to do NFC East, most lethal trash talkers, and the bottom of the barrel of the fan bases over there. Um, real quick, bro, if you don't, if you're not on my list, don't feel... Don't feel any type of way, bro. It's just my opinion. There's probably people with other opinions. I got a couple messages yesterday talking about I wasn't on the list and this, bro. You know, um, you guys got to not take this so serious, bro. This is just my opinion. There's a lot of reasonings why I chose them trash talkers and a lot of reasonings why I'm going to choose the trash talkers today. First and foremost, it might be um, the resume they have. It might be the battles I've seen them in. Um, it might be how long they've been in the TTC and just um, how they're they're viewed, actually. You know what I'm saying? Um, so don't take it personally. You know, like I said, if you if you feel some type of way and you feel that strong about it, make your own list and let it be known, man. You know, um, so let's get on with it. Um, let's talk about the first fan base and this fan base. Actually, I started interacting way more after my brother, Cowboy Legend, came into it uh, because he's NFC East. Um, but even before he was a part of the TTC, um, I had an epic Hay Week with all them dudes. And to tell you the truth, a lot of them came out for the Hay Week the second year. I, I think it was the second year I was in the TTC. Um, and even... Uh, one of the legendary fools that had retired, he came out. I had, I got him to come out for Hay Week. Um, so let's get on with the Cowboys fan base. So the top tier, there's two people that come to my mind. And um, these are dudes that, you know, you always hear about. And, you know, I seen uh, one of them pretty much being a lot of streams, going to war. Um, everybody knows who he is. He says he's retired too. Um, but the first one is OG D Town. Um, I remember hearing about this dude's name all across TTC about him being a troll. Um, I seen some of his work, and um, the the second year I was in, it was either the second or third year the Broncos had played the Cowboys, and all of a sudden. I got a video coming at me from D-Town and fools were like, dang, that fool retired. You got him to come out. And uh, he was uh, he was very slick with his wordplay, man. That fool, you know what I'm saying? He he actually came out, came out with a vicious ass video going at me. But I came back on him, bro. I didn't let it ride, you know, and he gave me my respect. And um, he's a legendary cowboy video maker that I had interactions with. The next one, he's still around, you know, he's in the trenches, he's he's actually the homie, and um, I seen this fool bury some fools in live streams, I seen this fool with the wordplay, um, it's the homie Simus, um, he's, he's a lethal cowboy video maker, been around the trash talk circle for a long time, legendary in years, so I have to give it to them too. Um, the bottom of the barrel, he's the homie. And I got a lot of respect for him. He paid a bet up to me. I did a good uh, hey week with him. Um, but he don't bring like the venom. And I think, you know what I'm saying? Um, other people would agree. It's probably beast of the East, homie. No disrespect, my homie. You know, you you got all my respect. Well, and, and you did an epic troll job when they said that you have passed away. But, you know, um, so that's, that's my list of the Cowboys fan base. I'm on to the Eagles fan base. The, the head honcho, top top tier um, food that comes to my mind is Desert Eagle. That fool been putting in work, man. He's he he began out the cowboy fans a lot. This fool did some some funny ass videos going at the cowboy fans, bro. And um, he's always kept it a hundred. And actually, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, I was actually happy for homie. Um, the bottom of the barrel. Um, this is a dude that I ain't really interacted with a lot, but my interactions always kind of been bad because. He tried to call me out in a live stream one time about my offensive line, and I guess that was his big thing. But besides that, he didn't really know Eagles football. You know what I'm saying? I asked him who his quarterbacks was for years, and that fool couldn't even answer. And I, that's the dude, Ego Speed. Plus, the dude got pulled up on, and he didn't fade out. So, yeah, that's that's that fan base right there. Um, the next one, the Giants. Um, the Giants got some powerhouses, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I respect... Um, the homie meet the Mets and a couple fools from over there. 
um, the legendary, two legendary top tier foods that I think um, is Bad Dog. And last year when we played um, Broncos Country and I did my work to get that food to come out and do a Hay Week. So I was honored to have him actually pull up to the Hay Week. And he's a he's a venom spitter, man. That fool's a, a murderer, slaughterhouse, real slaughterer. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it was fun, bro. So top tier of him. And then the other homie, he paid the bets of Broncos country. And that's the homie homie, Meet the Mets. Um, they keep it and they and Meet the Mets been holding it down for years. That's his that's his playing ground, bro. Um, he's the homie, so much respect to them. Top tier. The bottom of the barrel, he's another homie, but I gotta say, he don't really bring the venom he represents the giants pretty tough but when it comes to trash talk um he don't he don't really spit that that extra venom on um, when i would have to say nyg 31 you the homie bro um don't be all in your feelings bro you the homie still you know what i'm saying much respect to you um uh, when it comes to the redskins or whatever the commanders um this is a fool because they don't really have a lot of video makers when i first came in um but this was a fool that actually showed me some love, um, and he represented pretty well. I seen a couple videos that were funny from old school, and uh, it was the dude psychopath. Um, and then I don't, I don't really, you know what I'm saying, know any other video makers from the Washington Commanders. Um, but awesomeness sports, he's the OG OG. So yeah, that's my list of the NFC East. Like I said, man, don't be uh, personalizing it, y'all. Y'all be good, your boy Savage. Let's go.